Let's look at the lesson, Customary Units of Length. This problem says, Madeline is measuring things around a warehouse full of colored boxes. She finds out that the blue box is nine feet longer than the purple box, which is three feet long. How long is the blue box? Well, we know that the purple box is three feet long. And Madeline is measuring and she finds out that the blue box is nine feet longer than the purple box. So if they were the same, then this would be three. But now she finds that the blue one is nine feet longer. So we're going to add an additional nine feet. So we know that we need to add those first three feet plus these nine feet because it is nine feet longer. Okay, so now we have nine plus three is equal to a number. We could draw nine dots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and three dots, one, two, three. And we can count all nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then the three, 10, 11, 12. Or we could just start at nine and count on three more, so nine, 10, 11, 12. We get the same answer. So 12 feet is our answer. There are two trees in Alyssa's backyard. One is small enough to measure and is six feet tall. There is also a big pine tree that is three feet taller. How tall is the pine tree? So we know that one of the trees is six feet tall. So if this whole distance is six feet, but then there's a pine tree that is three feet taller. So first we're gonna make them the same height, six feet. But now we know this pine tree is three feet taller. So we're going to add three more feet. So let's see what this whole distance is. We would find this whole distance by adding the six feet plus the three feet and that is equal to a number. So remember, we could draw all six dots, but no need, we can just say six, and then we can have these three dots. So six, seven, eight, nine. So nine feet is our final answer. All right, Gavin can imagine being six feet tall. Darren can imagine being seven feet taller than Gavin. How tall can Darren imagine being? Wow, so Gavin can imagine being six feet tall. So this whole distance can be six feet. But Darren can imagine being seven feet taller than Gavin. So first, let's make them the same, six feet. Now every foot we go past this, that's going to be taller. So we need to make it be seven feet taller. So these six feet plus these seven feet will give us how tall Darren can imagine being. So seven plus six is equal to a number. Well, I recognize that six plus six is a doubles, and I know that doubles is 12. Six plus six is 12. But this is six plus seven, so seven is just one more. So six plus six is 12, so six plus seven is one more, which is 13. 13 feet. Benjamin and Kayla want to see whose block is longer. Benjamin measures his as seven feet long. Kayla knows her block is two feet longer. How long is Kayla's block? Well, let's see if his is seven feet and she knows that hers is two feet longer. Let's first make them the same. Okay, that would be seven, but now hers is another two feet longer. So that would be seven plus two. Seven plus those extra two feet is equal to a number. So let's draw two dots. We know we can start at seven and count on two. Seven, eight, nine. Do you see the nine down below? Yep, right here. Okay, Mason and Chloe want to see whose block is longer. Mason measures his as eight feet long. Chloe knows her block is five feet longer. 
How long is Chloe's block? So we know that Mason measures his at eight feet long. Chloe knows her block is five feet longer than that. So first we'll make them the same. But now every foot we go past is going to be longer than Mason's. So let's add five more. Five feet. Great. So eight plus five will give us this whole distance because we have this eight and then this five. All right. Eight plus five is equal to a number. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to start with eight and count on five more. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, I see the 13 right here. Natalie is measuring slices of bacon. The first piece is four inches long. The second piece is one inch longer. What is the full length of the second piece of bacon? All right, so the first piece is four inches long. And we know that the second piece is one inch longer. So if we have here, if they were the same, they would both be four, but we know the second piece is one more inch longer. So four plus one will give us how long this piece is. Four plus one is equal to a number. What is one more than four? What's the number after four? Yeah, five. Good, and that is right there. All right, at the boat dock, the white boat is 20 feet long. The yellow boat is 12 feet shorter than the white boat. How many feet long is the yellow boat? All right, so the thing that we know for sure is that the white boat is 20 feet long. The yellow boat is 12 feet shorter, so we're going to go back 12 feet, and then it would be this long. So if we're going back, we're gonna take away those 12 feet because we know it is 12 feet shorter. So we will have 20, and then we're going to take away 12, and that will leave us with how long the yellow boat is. So we can do 20 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We're going to take away 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 20 minus 12 is equal to eight. So the yellow boat is eight feet long. All right, here's the eight. Gabriel has an assignment to find the height of the two tallest buildings in his city. If the tallest building is 16 yards tall and the next tallest is 11 yards shorter, then how tall is the second tallest building? All right, so if we know the tallest for sure is 16 yards, and then we know the next tallest is 11 yards shorter, we're going to go down 11. We're going to take away 11 of these yards because we know that it's 11 yards shorter. And then whatever that number is, is how tall the second tallest building is. So we will do 16, whoops, 16 minus 11 and that is equal to a number. So let's take away 11 from 16. Let's first draw 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now we're going to take away 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wonderful, we have one, two, three, four, five left. So we know that this is five yards tall. And here is the five. Chloe has two pine trees in her backyard. She has named them Isabel and Caleb. Isabel is 17 feet tall and Caleb is 10 feet shorter than Isabel. How tall is tree Caleb? All right, 
So we know for sure that Isabel is 17 feet tall. But we know that Caleb is 10 feet shorter, so we need to take away 10 to find out how tall Caleb is. So let's do 17 minus 10. All right. So if I have one 10 and seven ones for 17, which I see that I do, that would be one 10 and seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and I'm going to take away 10. I'm just going to take away this 10. So all I have left is my ones. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So tree Kayla is seven feet tall. And there is my answer. All right, this one says, at the boat dock, the white boat is 14 feet long and the yellow boat is eight feet shorter than the white boat. How many feet long is the yellow boat? Well, we know for sure that the white boat is 14 feet long. And we know that the yellow boat is eight feet shorter, so we need to take away eight feet to figure out how long the yellow boat is because we know it is eight feet shorter. So we will write 14 minus eight is equal to a number. So we could draw some dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and we're going to take away eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are left with six. So it is six feet long. Great, and there is our final answer. Amazing work today, everyone.